Hey everybody, it's Miss T from the Children's Library at the Plainfield Public Library. And thank you for coming in for another special story time. Today's book is When Aiden Became a Brother. Written by Kyle Lukoff and illustrated by Kaylani Juanita. When Aiden was born, everyone thought he was a girl. His parents gave him a pretty name. His room looked like a girl's room, and he wore clothes that other girls liked wearing. But as Aiden got bigger, he hated the sound of his name. He felt like his room belonged to someone else and he always ripped or stained his clothes accidentally on purpose. Everyone thought he was just a different kind of girl. Some girls had rooms full of science experiments and bug collections. Lots of girls didn't wear dresses. But Aiden didn't feel like any kind of girl. He was really another kind of boy. It was hard to tell his parents what he knew about himself, but it was even harder not to. It took everyone some time to adjust, and they learned a lot from other families with transgender kids like him. Aiden explored different ways of being a boy. He tried out lots of names until one stuck. They changed his bedroom into a place where he belonged. He also took much better care of his new clothes. Then, one day, Mom and Dad had something to tell him. I'm going to have a baby, Mommy announced. A baby, Aiden said. Does this mean I get to be a big brother? Of course, Dad said, ruffling his hair. Aiden thought that being a big brother was an important job for a boy like him. He wanted to make sure this baby would feel understood right away. The baby needed clothes, so Aiden and his mom went shopping. There were so many choices. Would the baby like seahorses or penguins better? Are you having a boy or a girl, asked the lady. Aiden didn't like it when people asked if he was a boy or a girl, and he hoped the baby couldn't hear yet. He was glad when mommy just smiled and said, I'm having a baby. The baby's room needed to be painted, so Aiden and his dad went to the hardware store. Dad chose a gallon of sky blue paint, and Aiden added a puffy cloud white. Are you excited for your new brother or sister, extra paint guy? I'm excited to be a big brother, Aiden said. The paint guy looked confused. Aiden could tell that he wanted to ask a different question and was glad to have his father there. The big rollers were fun to paint with. This room feels just like being outside, Aiden exclaimed. He had always felt trapped in his bedroom before they fixed it, but his new sibling wouldn't have to feel that way. You're right, said Dad. Let's make some shapes in the clouds. Every baby needs a name. Aiden liked looking to choose his own, but he remembered that it had been hard for his parents to let go of the name they gave him. He looked for names that would fit this new person no matter who they grew up to be.
babies needed someone to read to them. So Aiden practiced and practiced and practiced. Dad wanted to teach Aiden how to change diapers. Uh, maybe later, said Aiden. He decided that picking flowers for his mom was more important. Two weeks before the baby's due date, Aiden started to worry. Maybe he should have picked some different clothes. The blue walls might be too bright. He wished he could have asked the baby which name they liked best. Mom came to tuck him in. Are you feeling okay, sweetie, she asked. Aiden put his hands over where he thought the baby's ears would be. Do you think the baby will be happy with everything, he whispered. I don't want them to feel like I did when I was little, but what if I get everything wrong? What if I don't know how to be a good big brother? Mom hugged him tight. When you were born, we didn't know you were going to be our son. We made some mistakes, but you helped us fix them. And you taught us how important it is to love someone for exactly who they are. This baby is so lucky to have you, and so are we. The next morning, Aiden found the boxes of his old baby pictures. He looked so different back then. It hadn't been easy, but he liked the boy he was growing into. Maybe everything wouldn't be perfect for this baby. Maybe he would have to fix mistakes he didn't even know he was making. And maybe that was okay. Aiden knew how to love someone, and that was the most important part of being a brother. I'm going to finish this up by reading the author's note. When I was born, everyone thought I was a girl, but my story is very different from Aiden's. I don't have a little sibling, but I do have a big brother. I like wearing dresses and it took me much longer to discover that I was a boy. Of course, some parts of my story was very much like Aiden's. That might be true for you too. If you're a kid who is transgender like Aiden or transgender but not like Aiden, I'm hoping this story helps you understand what you're feeling and helps you talk about it if you're ready. You may also feel like Aiden in other ways. He knows what it's like to not quite belong. And you might feel that way sometimes too. People don't always see Aiden how he wants to be seen and you might know what that feels like. Maybe you worry about making mistakes. Aiden is a transgender kid, but he's also a kid like you. Life for Aiden and for all different kinds of kids will be full of growth and change. I don't know what the future holds for him, but I hope he lives in a world that supports and believes in him. Thank you for creating that world too. And that was the author's note. And when we come to the last page of any story, we say, the end. And that was When Aiden Became a Brother, written by Kyle Lutkoff and illustrated by Kay Lonnie Juanita. Now, whether you uh, feel like Aiden at times or whether you don't, we understand that family is so important and loving one another for who we are and who we're trying to grow into is just as important. So I'm wishing you love, support, 
And for all of our potential big brothers and sisters out there, wishing you the very best as you become the best big brother and big sister in the world. Thanks for stopping in. This is Miss T from the Children's Library of the Plainfield Public Library. Bye for now.